Today, I'm going to go through some ideas about why the Sue Wilson dyes are so versatile and why I like them so much. Now, usually when you get a dye, you send it through your machine, you get that one shape. But Sue Wilson really does think them through. And most of the dyes come really split up into many different little parts. So today I'm going to be using the Indonesian collection Sumatra dye, which is fantastic to show you all the different possibilities you've got with this dye. So it starts off, it says five dyes. Now Sumatra is a bit different to some of the others. It has an extra outer dye. I'm pretty much going to be ignoring this for today's demo, purely because not all of them comes with it. It's a lovely dye, it's got piercing all the way around as well, so it's a great little addition. But most of your dyes will come with an outer, a large decorative piece, another outer, and a small decorative piece. So I've started off simply by cutting each of these shapes out. So here's the outdoor with the piercing. If you like stamping, decoupage and everything, Sumatra is a lovely one because as soon as you use this second inside one, you just get a plain matte and layer and you can layer it on. Nicely framed image straight away. As I said, I'm going to ignore that one for today. So normally you just get a normal outer, which is great. But as soon as you add a decorative piece, line it up, tape it down, send it through your machine, and what you'll get is a lovely decorative framed piece which looks lovely on its own nice doily effect if that's what you're into but where it comes into its own is when you cut another outer piece out of the same color you've got a lovely tone on tone subtle effect however if you cut it out of a colored piece you get a totally different effect again. So I'm going to start off making a topper simply by gluing this white one onto my navy blue. Now I could take a stamp, stamp a sentiment in the middle, and I've got myself a nice, quick and easy topper. Or, take the next die, cut it out, and you'll get another layer, which fits nicely inside here. You can then go stamp your sentiment onto this piece, just like I've done here. And you could 3D mount that there. Quick, easy topper. Looks really effective. But as I said, Sumatra does have that extra bit, so you can add extra details with this die. Cut it in white, get a nice piercing, get really a lot of dimension out of that if you 3D foamed all three layers. So that's one way you can use your Sue Wilson dies. Now, going back, again I've cut the outer with the decorative to get this one. I've got a white piece. And because I've got another decorative bit, I can cut that into my oval. 
and what I'll get is this, which can go straight on there. But if you want some extra height, cut out another white piece, 3D mount it. If you want the contrast, cut it out the colored piece. This would be great if you had a number or something and you could die cut some numbers to go on top. But if you think, oh, that's too much white, swap it out for your color. So loads of possibilities there again. But what I'm gonna do now is show you what I think is a really cool thing that these dies can do. I'm just gonna take my oval piece and I'm gonna tape it inside here. I'm just gonna send it through my cutting machine. And now I've got a lovely framed piece. Again, I could just simply stamp my sentiment in there straight away, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm actually gonna glue this straight on to a navy piece cut with that outer edge again. As I said, Sumatra is different to the others. I could have simply stuck it onto the stitched one and had an extra little border. But as most of them don't have the extra edge, I thought I'd stick to what you would probably get. Now, the important thing now is to allow that to dry. You don't want to do this too soon, because what we're going to do is take our oval and we're going to seat it back inside. Now it's slotted into place. I've got some tape there ready to go. But if I sent it through now, my glue is still very wet and it would just squish everywhere. So I'm gonna leave it for a second to dry. Okay, so this has had some time to dry now. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna send it through my machine. And when I take it off, I've got a lovely frame. Now what I can do is two things. I can stick it onto one of these, outer edges again, and I can stamp into the middle. Now I'd do this before gluing it down because if you make a mistake with your stamping, that's all you need to do is replace that bottom piece. And what you've got is a perfectly framed sentiment. Now a bit of 3D foam here will just lift it up. As you can see, your sentiment is dropped down into it. Now, you don't have to do it with this. You could just stamp onto a scrap piece of cardboard, which is just bigger than the oval. And then, 3D foam the back, stick it down, just trim any bits you can see. So there we are, one more idea. But we can take that a step further. Because we've got these dies, which all fit together, we can now place this oval, the decorative one, inside our frame. I'm going to send that through. Some of the bits. 
I chose Sumatra because the bits are really nice and big and quick to poke out. And now you've got another little decorative piece. You can 3D foam that and put it down. You get a nice depth going through. Alternatively, you can cut out another one of these, glue it on. Or, as Sumatra's got this extra little piece, you can put it straight onto there. But I quite like the sentiment way. But if you got this scrap piece from earlier, to save cardstock, you could just glue that behind. Stick your number onto there, whatever you want. So hopefully that's given you some ideas on how you can go about building using all your Sue Wilson dies. Loads of options, loads of things you can do. Just have a go. Cut and play, try it out. But definitely have a go at the frames. Definitely have a go just building it up. Mix, match your cardstocks, just play.